welcome back with another video in basic to advanced linux course today we are going to discuss about the vi editor tutorial so if you haven't watched the last video about the file system linux file system and all the basic command then i would recommend you to watch that video and then you will able to understand what we are going to learn here so vi editor is a editor in linux so if you want to edit any file uh, then you basically need an editor and in Linux we have multiple editors available like uh, VI editor one of the most famous and also people the latest version is like a VM editor and uh, nano editor is also one of the most famous editor so but here is like you don't need to learn everything you just need to learn the one editor which is most most of the time people are using it and in an industry also people are using it so if you understand about the VI editor, you will be able to understand other editors also. All right, guys. So first of all, before starting anything, you have to check whether the VI editor is installed or not. For that, you just need to type VI and hit enter. If it is showing up, there is no such a files. And uh, if you remember that this path, if you remember in the first video, we discussed about the file system, right? So all the commands, all the commands for the uh, users, it is stored in the bin folder which is a binary right so currently linux saying that linux doesn't have this vi editor so for that you just need to install that and again this is also discussed in the last video how you can install that simply type sudo apt installed and type vim so if you want to install the vi editor so vi editor and vim both are same so there is no difference so now it is installed if you type v you can see here so let me exit first all right so first of all uh in the last video we discussed about how to create a files with the cat command and touch command and the, the basically the disadvantage there uh, and it's not a disadvantage but the cat command used to read the content all, also for uh, merging two files right and touch command is for creating a timestamps that is the main purpose then vi editors when basically you're working in any ind industry where people are using linux and uh, you basically use you, you have to understand about the editors editor means like a file in notepad so notepad is either it's an editor right so in linux we have a vi editor so let's create a new file for that you just simply type vi i'm just creating a random file so let's create a python so when you type the vi and the file name it will create a new file and here you can see the python which is in a double double score and here showing up the new means this file has been created and if this file is already existed then it will start opening the editor with that file so let's see so in vi editors there is two mode available which is basically you have to work on it the first mode is the command mode so command mode is uh, basically where you have to run the command to save the files to exit the file right to modify the files to delete the files these kind of things will be run as a command mode and it is a command mode when you are in a command mode then you can able to save it otherwise you won't able to save anything so the next mode is the uh, insert mode or also the in entry mode so when you want to type anything when you start want to edit the file right so for that you need to be in a editor mode so also called the insert mode and for that in keyboard just type i when you type i it will be showing up here like insert so everything this is a status what you are doing right now in the file whatever you are doing that when you are typing it it will showing up here the insert right and when you are in the command mode then it will be showing up the blank most probably the blank if it is a new file you just uh, launching it then it will be showing up here the file name so again you want to go back in the editor mode right the insert mode you need to simply type i and uh, for again if you want to go back in the command mode where you able to save the file after editing the file for that you need to just type escape button when you type escape here you can see this is a blank and uh, it it reflects that you are in a command mode all right so first let's create something then uh, i mean just 
uh, add some lines here then we will understand more commands so let's again go back in editor mode so when in the editor mode it is now you can type it here like this is a post file of learning learning vim or vi editor all right so now you can see we just type one line okay and if you want to go back in the command mode again just type escape button and now it is showing up here this is nothing right so now once you are in the command mode uh, you have to type a colon for saving i mean start using the commands there are a lot of shortcuts also available but this is the initial uh, commands where you are able to execute the command so first you need to type the colon then if you want to save only the file if you want to just save this file right simply type w w4 write when you type hit enter now you can see here python which is one it is written the file okay but see here we still in the editor we are not able to exit from this file right so here again you need to just so here you can see here it is not showing up insert mode so you are still in the command mode so again if you type colon now you can see when you type colon and uh, if you want to save this file and then exit the file right and uh, suppose if you just want to exit from this file you simply type q and hit enter so now it is changed you just exit from this terminal right let what we have in this file when i type cat in python you can see the file is i mean the line has been added here right now if you want i want to again edit this file just simply type python okay so now the editor mode is again open sorry the command mode is again open and if you want to go back to edit anything you have to type i here and i want to add one more line which is this is uh this is uh, second line for learning save save and edit the file all right so i just add a another line randomly and currently we are in an editor mode right so it is reflecting we are editing something right and if you type colon it won't add here you can see you are not able to edit and it is added here in the file so let me delete first and again if you want to go back to save this file type escape first then colon and now i just want to save this file then exit this file automatically i don't want to just make save and still in this file just type w and colon so w and colon means oh sorry w and q basically representing your writing and then you are exit from there and you type this and let's see all right we have the file all right so this is a basic thing now we have to learn about some shortcut also so again go back in the file and add any random line i'm just adding anything okay so here you can see i just modify this file again and if you i'm trying to save this file or maybe i'm just not saving the file i'm just exit from this file right I just type q q for using for exit this file right and if i hit enter it is telling that this file is modified and you cannot exit without using this and if you use this thing it will be override so let's see i again use this q and uh exclamation sign and when you type this thing the file that i mean the line that we have added it is not there why because I just exit forcefully without editing it. So sometimes what happen we uh, by mistake if there is a file which is uh, I mean which is very long long right and and by mistake if you type something in the file and you are not able to locate where it is an error where where you have modified right and you you don't want to save that file you just want to exit from that right and vi editor is not able to exit that. Uh, terminal then you can use this colon that will really help sometime all right so again go back in this file so we have three lines and some spaces between this let's edit and again vi editor and vm editor both are same so if i type vm vim instead of vi that will work same you can see here 
and if you want to type anything just type i and here now see uh currently you are in this line right and if you want to uh currently we are in the command line here you can see this is not showing up insert and if you want to just move to the next line and want to type in directly right so you can use o which representing that when you just type o it will be start typing start inserting in the next line from there okay so i don't have to type i instead of that i just type o and it start inserting now it is in insert mode and now it is start typing from here okay so if i type this this is o sorry o which can start inserting from next line all right so this is how you can do that with o simply type o then it will start now if you want to exit from this file right i just again just type escape first in the command line and there is a shortcut which is shift plus zz when you type this thing it will automatically save the file so if you see here you can see so i simply type shift plus zz and uh, this automatically use the same thing that we use w co uh, w and q and this is simple suppose i have to again go back let's see now see there are four lines available here right and if you want to simply uh, delete anything delete any character from here right you can simply first go in a insert mode where you will able to delete something right and then you have to just you can use a backspace right and then you can delete it if you want to delete the entire line from this file right so you there is a shortcut uh you can use this insert then you can delete just by escaping but it is really um uh, it's not a cool idea right so just go back in a command mode and simply type dd when i type dd now this entire line has been gone so dd is basically representing that you are deleting something or cutting cutting the line okay but i want that line again suppose i i exit from there but just suppose i i just save this file shift plus zz for saving this file right let's see if we have there are three lines the one line we have removed with the dd now again i want that line and this file so simply type python go back in the editor and here just simply type p when you type p that that line has been edited again okay. so p is used to paste the uh, command and uh, zz for i mean sorry dd for deleting the entire line and again so this is for cutting uh, simple in simple words like cut and paste right uh, we are using control uh, x then uh, control v sh shortcuts right so this is also a shortcut so you can use it uh, and if you want to copy and paste suppose i want to copy this entire line and paste in the next line how we can do that simply just type y y currently we are in the command command mode so always when you are using a commands when you are running any command you should be in a command mode so simply type y y when you type y y this line has been copied now if you want to paste this line in the next line so first you have to be in the next line because for that you are not able to do that you can simply type insert mode and uh, here and then go back again in the uh, command mode and simply type p you can see so this is how you can do that again simply yy that will copy and uh, p this is how you can copy the line uh, so this is a shortcut that you have to understand when you are learning it and uh, there are a lot of things that have to learn by yourself also so whatever i'm teaching it's not only enough for learning right because technology has been improved and new commands has been added you have to research by yourself you have to practice everything that you want to learn right so this is the only thing that you can uh, play with vi editors and this is basically enough for learning it's not like uh, you have to uh, run any script you have to uh, write some code it's simple i mean 
there are two modes insert mode and command mode uh, when you want to save the files and if you want to delete something then you can use you have to be in a command mode but if you want to edit the file you should be in an editor mode which is insert mode so these two modes available and commands i will share all the commands in the description that's all about the vi editor and if you want to learn about the nano editor or any another editor you can comment below and i will try to make another video but this is enough for learning editors i mean we will practice uh, again in upcoming videos but for now it is enough for that and we will learn more commands to learn how to use the commands to get the things from the files right like a grab command and other commands but for now this is fine and if this video is really useful for you and if you learn something then please subscribe and hit the bell icon